All right, this is the how to on valve adjustment for a Honda NH NHX 110. So once you have the seat bucket off, here's your valve cover. You remove this uh, nut right here. So, uh, and also there's another nut over here. So this line right here is your fuel fuel line, and this is a uh, this over here is a vacuum line. Um, so basically, you remove those so that it makes it easier to. Uh, are you using a 10 millimeter? These are all 10 mil on 10 millimeters. Um, so this makes it easy to take the valve cover off. So when you're in here, you know, removing stuff. You know, wash your knuckles. Don't bust up your knuckles. Um, so get this up all out of the way. So it makes it easy to um, to get to the valve. Off. Depends on how dirty your, you know, your, the area around your valve cover is. If it's really dirty, I would, uh, I, su I suggest cleaning it up first. Uh, I, I use triple green, spray it down, and clean it up because you don't want any of that dirt and stuff to get into your, uh, into your uh, engine. Um, and it usually, it's best, you know, it's best obviously, it's best to do this when the engine is cold. So, so park it overnight, and the next, uh, next day you could do this. Um, See, this is a another. Uh, this is actually a, a, a breather, engine breather. So you also disconnect that. All right. So now all you need to have is this uh, bolt here and this bolt down here. Also 10 millimeters. And that's the actual. Those are the two actually that holds the uh, the valve in place. Oh, well, I tightened this so tight last time. Actually, I'm using my wrong. I'm using my weak cam, so it doesn't feel right. Also, the camera's kind of in my way. I, I normally have my hand where the camera is, so everything's kind of awkward. Oops. Uh, also, uh, it's a good idea to to re remove the spark plug as well. That way. You could turn it, you know, turn the engine over, and and, it, and you don't, you won't have that compression, uh, uh, making it hard to turn the engine. On the way off, there it is. Sometimes the little grommet that goes around around this nut here, uh, the seal actually, is, uh, it will, um, it might or might not come off with that with that uh, bolt. So if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Keep it there. Keep it on the cover. If it comes off, uh, leave it on the boat. So this one's coming off. Seems like it's coming off with the boat. Uh, so before you put it back on, uh, wipe you know wipe that off because there's a little bit of dirt around it. So you wipe that off. So this one came. The seal came out. Okay. So that's off. I'm gonna move this thing out of the way. This line out of the way. Whatever you need to move out of the way. This one is actually okay. So off. Pull the stop cover off. All right. So also, if you look at the valve cover, you know this 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 gasket here. When you put it back in, wipe the gasket uh, this gasket clean, and also. Wipe the mating surface, uh, the the metal on uh, where the gasket uh, attaches. Wipe that clean as well. Okay, so now the valve's off. Uh, uh, so I had my uh, spark plug out, so there's no compression. I also took off the the drive cover, and you can see that video. Uh, you can see that in another video. So the drive cover off. That way, I could I could turn the uh, the variator or the crank. Uh, and I'm turning it, and you see the, the chain moving. Oops! And you can also see the uh, you can also see the uh, um, the valves moving. Right? These are roller rocker arms, so it's kind of cool. Has a little uh, roller bearings in them instead of just a, a friction type. You see my my valves moving up and down. The bottom valve is is the uh, 
is the exhaust and the top one is the uh, intake. So how I like to do this, this 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 you know this is not the official Honda way of doing it. Now Honda tells you to uh, go look at the flywheel right behind the radiator and you can see the timing mark. Uh, I'm kind of lazy to do that. What I do is I just basically you know, underneath here. If you look down in this area or down over here in this area, you can actually see the cam, the the lobe of the cam. So basically, what I want is that I want the lobe to face to face in towards the piston that way, that direction, instead of facing out that direction. Because when it's faced out this way, it actually activates the uh, the uh, the valve. So you face it in facing towards the uh, the, the the piston. It, you know that's where it's it has its most. Uh, uh, um, it's most uh, slack position, so, so that way you could uh, check the the gap on the valve. So the this bike, the valve uh, is for the uh, exhaust. It's a uh, ten thousandth of a inch, uh, and the the uh, intake is uh, the six thousandth. So what I use is you know for the for the intake, I actually have two. I, I actually use a. Uh, actually, let me see if you can see that. I use a six thousand and a seven thousand. So six thousand is what I want. If the seven thousand fits, that means uh, it might be a little bit potentially uh, too loose. Uh, well, actually, it's not even too loose because it's you know the specification is give or take a thousand. So I have my six thousand thing here. And I have my cam at the loosest setting. So that's uh, that's pretty loose. I have very very light drag in here. You know, you're feeling for the drag, very light drag. Now I'm gonna use my 7,000 and see how much drag there is. So that's considerable more drag. Okay, so that's a, that's a pretty good amount of drag. I think that's fine. So it seems like my intake is fine. So I don't have to adjust it. If you do have to adjust it, what you use is a, a this this nut right here. This is a, this is called a uh, tap it uh, style uh, valve adjuster. This nut right here uh, loosens up this uh, this uh, in, inside a uh, uh, tap right here. So this nut is a uh, I believe a nine millimeter, and you have obviously a little square right here. So you could use like a little adjustable wrench to hold that square while you're turning this nut so that so that so that so it doesn't go out of adjustment. Okay, so now I'm gonna spin my my uh, exhaust so I could. Uh, check the exhaust uh, intake. Oh, excuse me, the exhaust uh, gap. So the, the exhaust on this bike is a little bit different uh, because it has a decompressor built into this uh, into the cam mechanism here. So you have to uh, pay attention to it while you're spinning this. If you look at the exhaust side, which is the, the this side over here, this left side over here. Well, actually, the right side from your view, from your point of view, from my point of view, it's on the left. So oh, it's on the uh, it's on the chain side, the one closest to the chain here, this one right here. So if you look at it while I spin this, you see it actually activate two times. So that's the main that's the main valve adjustment right there, or the main valve activation. Then all of a sudden you see a little bit right there. See that? That little bit of movement. That that right here is the decompressor. So that's the main one right here moving. Okay. Then then all of a sudden right there. Oops, missed it. So, right there, right there. So you see a little bit of movement on that one. That's the decompressor right there. So you can't have it on that either. If you have it on that, it's, it, it will, the reading will be wrong. So you have to basically go main main um, main movement first. Right. See main movement. Little decompressor. So anywhere. Basically, you're gonna be anywhere between the the, the the decompressor and the main movement is what you want. I'm gonna try to look for the the cam lobe and see if I could uh, uh, see if I could uh, uh, get it. Main cam lobe right there. That's main cam lobe. Should be good right here. I could test it right here. Or I could let that right there, the decompressor activate. Then afterwards I could test it right about there. Oops, main cam lobe again. So I could test it either either spot.
should be okay. If you're not sure, uh, do both. Do both spot and, and, uh, and that way you could be for sure. So in this thing, uh, the, the gap on the exhaust side is 10 thousandths. Uh, 10 thousandths. And I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I use a 10 thousandth and I use one bigger. Uh, just to uh, make sure you know that, that how tight it really is. So I have that 10 thousandths. And the space is, is down here somewhere. 10 thousandths. Okay. It's very, very light drag. Very light drag in that one. Let's see the 10 thousandths. Or oh, excuse me, the 11. So this one has a little bit more drag. I think I'm okay on this one too. It's not real heavy drag, but it's still okay. Uh, yeah, it's not real tight. Uh, but it's def definitely a, a firm amount of drag, which is fine. Um, you know, because this is the 11,000, and 10,000 has very light drag, so that's that's just about right. Yeah, very light drag. That's just about right. It's uh, it's all you know. It's, it's actually better to go a thousandth too loose, because usually valves will, uh, as they wear, uh, they will actually tighten up. Uh, so if you have it a thousandth too tight, uh, uh, it'll tighten up uh, faster. So you have to basically do the valve more often, right? Uh, let's see. Let me go to the other position. So that was what, that, what was that? That was after the de decompressor activated, and right before the uh, the main uh, exhaust uh, the exhaust uh, valve activated. So I'm gonna let the main exhaust activate. Then right after that, I will test it again right there. Let's see. So this is the other side. So this is between. This is after the exhaust and before the uh, decompressor. So the first one I did was after the, the decompressor and before the exhaust. Uh, so it feels just about the same as, as the other end. So yeah, so yep, so that's good. So that's it, that's basically your valve check. And if you need to, you know, the little adjusters and you know, obviously the bottom one's gonna be a little bit harder because it's, you know, it's further down. Uh, kind of harder to reach, but you know it's a, it's more or less the same thing. Uh, be aware that each time you you turn this this iron nut to tighten it or loosen it, this, the little inner tap it right there, it will move slightly, and that movement could be a thousand of an inch. You know that that's your movement right there. So 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 be aware of that. You know it takes a little bit of time to uh, to adjust it, but uh, um, but you know if this if it's, if it's your first time, you know take your time. You know if it takes you an hour, take an hour. It takes you two hours. Take two hours. If you do it right, uh, it'd be good. If, if you do it wrong, you know, bad things can happen. It's, uh, especially if it's too tight. Definitely bad things could happen because the, the valves could hit the piston and you could destroy your motor. Uh, if it's too loose, then uh, well, it, it, your motor just won't run very well. It, you know, it, uh, and you hear you hear the, you hear the tapping and stuff. So that's not all that great for the valves either. Um, so that's it. So basically, clean up, clean clean the mating surface. Put everything back. Uh, and you're done. Thank you.